You see all of this white smoke here coming out of the engine here at startup? So let me ask you a question. Does your car have the same exact problem here with the white smoke puffing out in the morning when your car first starts when it's cold? Well, if that's the case here, then today we have one possible solution for you. And we're going to show you how to fix this issue of your car blowing white smoke when the engine starts up in the morning. And it all starts right now. Hey everybody, Jeff here and welcome back to the CarBuyingTips.com channel where since 1999 our consumer advocate team has been protecting you, the car buying consumer, from all the car dealer scams. We educate you in all sorts of ways to learn how to buy a new car, how to buy a used car. It's all about leasing and financing and all of the car dealer scams to avoid. And we're also today here, we're giving you this video here on how to do a, a repair on your car. But if you haven't subscribed to our channel, now's the perfect time to do it. Just click on that subscribe button down below and make sure you click on that little gray bell icon right after you do that, because otherwise we'll be uploading videos and YouTube will not alert you unless you tell YouTube that you want to be alerted from our channel. So make sure you click that little bell icon next to it. Now let's get right into it. So if your car engine is blowing white smoke in the morning when you first start up the car, the car mechanics will typically look at a couple of different things here. The car mechanics will take a look at your engine and they want to know is your, your main engine gasket leaking? You know, is it worn down and ready to be replaced? They'll look at things like you know piston rings, maybe is is one theory. Another thing they'll look at is those those uh, metal rings that go around the top of your spark plug hole. So it turns out this failure mode that we have that we're going to show you here today is the result of a technical service bulletin that was issued by Mercedes here, and it covers the W204 engine. Now this this is a lot of the C250s, the AMG versions, and and possibly several other models. So you just want to check to see if it applies to your model, but. You need to ask yourself if you have a turbo on your car, because if you do, another common cause for this that we're going to show you here today is the oil line that comes out of your turbo, and it usually bolts to the side of the exhaust. And if it has a banjo fitting on the end of it, chances are you need to have your banjo bolt replaced. In the case of this Mercedes that we are showing you here, there was a known technical service bulletin issued by Mercedes because apparently a lot of people were complaining about this. So they made a slight modification to their banjo bolt. And what they did was they put a backflow preventer in it. So we're going to show you this today. And who knows, this might even apply to your car, even if it's not a Mercedes. <laughs> going to be working on your engine it's always a good idea to put a fender cover on here as well I like this one too because if you have to put something right here temporarily it'll keep it from rolling off I still prefer to use the table though so as it turns out this whole technical service bulletin from Mercedes has a TSB number of LI09.40-P0 dash zero five five three nine six and it also has a, a NHTSA number too because apparently it was turned in as a complaint to the National Highway Transportation and Safety Administration so the NHTSA number for this one is one zero zero six two five nine five and it's a failing component on the engine and engine cooling exhaust system so that is how it was described to NHTSA. Okay, so here's the first part that you need to order, and I'll focus on it right here for you in a second. This is the, your banjo bolt. So here's the part number here. I circled it in red for you. It's A001-997-2402. We will put a link down in the video description below for you that you can get this off of Amazon. And make sure that you buy an official Mercedes part. So this one here came from an actual Mercedes dealer. Here's your part right here. And let's take it out and have a look at it. Okay, so here's what your banjo bolt looks like. It's a regular hex head bolt. And you can see the hole in it there for the oil to go through. And it looks like, if you look real closely in the end there, it looks like they added some sort of backflow preventer on there. 
And so what this does is it keeps oil from backing up or getting anywhere where it shouldn't get. This way it only goes in the direction that they want it to go in. So this way when you start your engine in the morning you don't have some minuscule amount of oil sitting there in the, in the lines there that's getting burnt off. So this is apparently how they corrected it with their fix here for this technical service bulletin which hopefully once you put this new banjo bolt in it will solve your issue of your engine blowing white smoke in the morning when you start up your engine cold. Also one reminder here from Mercedes which is kind of important that they mention in their technical service bulletin here is that anytime you remove a banjo bolt this banjo bolt here you have to replace it so apparently these are one-time use only. Okay, so the next part you need is you need to get two of these here. And this is called the Mercedes-Benz Turbocharger Oil Line Gasket. Even though it's really more of a washer, sometimes they'll refer to it as a sealant ring. But this part number here, this part number has a bunch of zeros in front of it. It has eight zeros followed by 6513. Okay, now the last part that you need to get here, this is an O-ring here. And this here has a part number of A023-997-8543. And you only need one of these. Okay, now one thing, you always want to make sure you're wearing gloves because it gets real dirty in this engine and you want to protect your hands as well. So we're just going to lift up the plastic cover here just to expose things a little easier for us. Now the part we need to get at is back down in here. So we need to remove these bolts. There's one here, 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 and right back here. So we need to pull this heat shield up so we can see what's going on back in there. Okay, so we are going to need the E10 socket, and that's what we've got on here. And we'll put links down in the description for you if you want to get the whole package, because you really should have an E socket set here if you're going to be doing any work on Mercedes here, because a lot of times E8 and E10 are too common screws that you need to undo anytime you're working on this kind of stuff on your engine or changing your spark plugs. You'll also need the E8s. So you'll want to get a set very similar to this. We'll put a link down in the description for you and to get one from Amazon if you want. Okay, so you can use a three inch extender here to get at these ones that are underneath. And to get it like this one, eh, you could probably still use the extender, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is get them loose and you can just do it very quickly. Okay, so all we really had to do is just move the heat shield. You don't actually have to take it off and if you're good at it, maybe you don't even have to loosen it. Because you can see right in the center there, there's your banjo bolt right there. So you can see right there. There's the oil line, so if you look right here, see that's a steel oil tube right there coming off the turbo, and it bolts in right there with that banjo fitting there. See, so, see how it's round there? And that's why they call it a banjo fitting. So the bolts that we have to remove is, is going to come right out of the center of that, right? So let's go ahead and pull that up right now. Okay, now you can see here that the banjo bolt requires a half inch socket. So we're just testing it here to make sure. And that's what we're going to use here. So we have to pull the old banjo bolt out with a half inch socket. Okay, so we've pulled out the old banjo bolt. Okay, so here's the old banjo bolt on the left here. You can see it there, right? And there's the new one on the right. So you can see the differences. It looks like they made the side hole there a little smaller. But also, if you can see here, the old one on the left there, you can see it has no backflow preventer, whereas the new one does have a backflow preventer. All right, so let's work on getting the new one installed. Okay, now here's our O-ring here. This is like a little gasket. And this here will go in the, in the junction there where the banjo from the oil line mates up to the housing there. This will seal that connection so oil doesn't leak out of there. Okay, so now we're going to lower this new banjo bolt into place now and tighten it down. Make sure the washer's on there. See it? The sealer. 
the sealer ring right there. Okay, so now we're going to torque it down to six Newton meters. That's what the technical service of bulletin says to do. So we'll just hold it. We'll just hold it right here. I think it's sort of, let's see if it did. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, sometimes having this is a great thing to have because it does all the spinning and turning for you. Okay, so now that we have, now that we have this bracket tightened back on there, now we can tighten the shield back down on top of the bracket there. Okay, so now we have that one screwed into place. So you want to start the engine up and it might still blow a little smoke like you just saw here. And it might take a few days for it to blow all of it out of there. It needs to get it out of its system. And there we go. You can see no white smoke came out. So it looks like this fix worked pretty good for us. Well, I hope you're finding this video useful so far. And if you are, go ahead and smash that like button down below there. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now's a great time to do it. Just click on that subscribe button down below there. And when you do that, click that little gray bell icon. That way you'll be notified every single time we upload a new video. And that's it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for joining in, and we'll see you all on the next one.